Yo, it's Dapper Inez, drop another review on y'all, and this time we're going to be doing a review of the BAM. This is the 24 piece i3 charger cable saver protector. Alright, now, um, basically this is uh, one of those doohickeys that go around the edge of your cables, your uh, your charger cables, and protects it. You know, for, you know, as you bend it and you know, plug it in, take, unplug it, and bend it throughout time, it starts to fray, it may become loose, and then, and then eventually it gets to a point where it doesn't charge anymore. Um, well, this is supposed to protect from that. So, um, I already opened this up, and uh, when I first got it, and I tried attaching to uh, one of my cables, I'm gonna pull one out so you can see real quick. Let me grab one of my cables so you can see. Um, basically, like I said, it just it's supposed to protect your cables from being frayed. So uh, let's take a look at it real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna tell you my findings. Um, so basically, it comes 20, 24, comes with all different colors. Bam! You got you got your whatever that color. I guess that's like a maroonish type red. You got pink. You got yellow. You got like a baby blue or sky blue um, like a I guess a purple or violet red same color as that one uh, I guess that's it for colors you know no green in here no green okay yep that's it for colors it comes with 24 packs 24 two packs you know, so that way you put one on each end of your cord. Now, what I'm going to show you is how I, uh, when I initially bought this, when I initially bought this, obviously I bought this for my cord. Um, here's a demonstration. This isn't the cord that I bought it on. I have the Samsung um, Galaxy cords. So this is the closest that I have in me right now. My cord that I use is in my car, but uh, this is the closest to it. Now I want to show you. I'm going to pull out the one that's already open. And I'll have to open another one because I'm because I just want to say that I am a little upset about you know, it wasn't that expensive, but still you know, if you if you claim something's going to work, it should work. Here goes the one that's open work with that one move these other ones out the way I have a pack that's because I'll find that later but basically oh, where's the other little white piece I pull them all out no it's not there oh here it is okay Here's the other piece. Now, the way this is supposed to work is this is supposed to cover up your cord so it keeps it from bending. Now, you have a long port portion right here, as you can see, and then you have a short portion right there. Obviously, this is the part that would go over this right here, okay? Um, so when I do it, this is the best you're gonna get, all right? Let me grab the other one here. And this is supposed to, you see there's little doohickeys there. It's supposed to be able to lock around the cord. As you see, it doesn't even cover my cord all the way. Now, it covers the cord part down here, but it doesn't cover the cord, it covers the cord part down there, but not up top. Now, now I even tried just pushing these on and seeing maybe it'll cover then when I push these on. Now that locks on there, but that still doesn't cover that part. So really, in my eyes, the cord is still not protected because that's not fully locked like the way it's supposed to be. Down here it's locked, but up there. Now on the Samsung cord, the Samsung cord is slightly thicker than this. And so you can imagine this port down here, this part down here is not even um, locking on the Samsung cord. So when you design something, you got to think in mind that you got to either specify 
on there that this is used specifically for a specific item like me like I don't have an iPhone but I imagine that a prob the iPhone cords are probably thinner and maybe this will work on the iPhone but if it's if it's for the iPhone then say that say that it's specifically for the iPhone so but when you put out a generic item like this you got to make it so that way it's gonna work with any product that's similar and if it's not you got to specify you know what it's what it won't work with and um, and if I if it had a setting where on there that it definitely doesn't work for um, the Android cords I definitely wouldn't have bought it so I'm gonna say that um, I can't recommend this even though it's really not expensive um, I, I believe only paid seven bucks for it but I, I can't recommend this because um, it doesn't work on my cord so I'm gonna be sending this back and I'm gonna be looking for another product similar to this and this and I'm gonna you know hopefully the next one that I get will work for my cord because I'm um, I could really use something like this because the cord of my car is getting frayed up from being plugged in and plugged and unplugged and I hate to have to and this is and this is probably the third one I had from that I bought for my car because I use it it gets heavy use that the one in my car probably gets used more than the ones in my house because that's where I'm at the majority of the time when I'm in my house the only time I get used in the house is when I plug it up when I go to bed so I'm not really using the phone the phone's doing nothing but sitting there but when I'm, when I'm in my car I'm handling my phone more even though you know you know how it is when you're in your car you really shouldn't be but most people are handling their phone with plugging and unplugging it, getting it out of their car, plugging and unplugging it. And uh, something like this is, would be great for that, but unfortunately this is not gonna work for me. So I can't recommend this product based off of that. So back it goes and um, hopefully um, I can find another product and, uh, and then I'll be doing a review on that. We'll check that one out. So with that being said, I'm Dapra Nez and this has been a review of the iFree 24 piece um, charger cable saver protector, whatever it's called. Um, that Brunez, and um, I'm gonna say, don't cop that. And I'm out this piece.